Well, with school out and summer in full swing, kids have a lot of free time on their hands. For those at Forest Park in Brazil, this isn't always a good thing. That's as the park has seen more acts of vandalism this past month. News 10's Jada Huddleston reports from Brazil. School's out and that means kids are looking for more things to do this summer. Unfortunately, that's led to vandalism at Forest Park. I spoke with the park superintendent earlier today. He says this year's vandalism is worse than years before. Broken sinks, toilets and spray painted walls are just some of the things that have happened so far this summer at Forest Park. Marv Moon is the park superintendent. He says they expect an increase in vandalism this time of year, but they didn't expect to see this type of damage. It's been a lot more destructive than in years past. Um, we've had the uh, spray paint before, we've had the graffiti before, which, you know, that's a little easier to deal with. It's a basic cleanup on that, but once you start breaking fixtures in the park, then that starts running into more money. One of those fixtures is this toilet in the women's restroom. Moon says someone set it on fire and it exploded, but he's not the only one who thinks this kind of behavior needs to stop. It's, it's sad and it's surprising and, um, I wouldn't say totally surprising, but enough to where it's like, that's pretty extreme. Megan Palm has lived in Brazil for more than 20 years. She brings her kids to Forest Park to play in the summer. Palm says part of this damage could fall back on parents. I think they're bored. I think there's not enough in the community um, for them to get involved in, lack of supervision, parental supervision. But there's nobody coming alongside them, you know, with their parents, their parents or things like that to, um, give them any kind of positive um, influence. I mean, I know it's frustrating for us, it's frustrating for taxpayers as well, because we're talking, I mean, we're in the thousands of dollars of damage this year so far, and uh, we're on a tight budget anyway. Um, so uh, it's just, it takes away from other areas of the park when we have to fix something that somebody's broke. Coming up at the top of the hour, we'll hear more from Moon and what the park is doing to make sure things like this don't happen in the future. Reporting in Brazil, Jada Huddleston, News 10.